Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Chef Rich. Today we're going to be making uh, French toast. French toast is very easy to make, it takes 10 or 15 minutes, tops. Um, we're going to be starting off with an egg yellow Texas toast. You'll notice this is a little bit thicker than regular bread. If you don't have access to this, you can use collard bread, it works just as well. If you don't have collard bread or Texas toast, use whatever type of bread you have. Whatever you like, you can use. Anyway, uh, ingredients. We're going to be using two eggs, two-thirds of a cup of milk, a third of a cup of sugar. Uh, just to let me say that a third of a cup is a lot of sugar. However, a lot of it's just going to stay in the bowl and never actually make it to our plate. Uh, what's going to happen is we actually need enough liquid in here to put this in and what we call dredge it, uh, get it wet. Uh, also, we're going to have one teaspoon of cinnamon and one tablespoon of vanilla. You will notice that this is vanilla, imitation vanilla, as opposed to vanilla extract. Um, right now, there's a pandemic going on. A lot of people do not have money. Uh, I do promise you, nobody will complain. Nobody will notice. So let's begin. I'm going to start by cracking my eggs. I always wash my hands after working with eggs. We're going to add our two-thirds cup of milk. We're going to add our one-third cup of sugar. We're going to add one teaspoon, which is that one, of cinnamon. And all of our ingredients are now in. This is what they call a stick blender. Uh, this, this one in particular is a fiberware, but you can use whichever brand you have. Uh, you can use a regular standard whisk, but I find that when I use a whisk, the cinnamon always stays on top. By using this thing, it actually mixes it real, uh, through and through very, very well. And it takes only a few seconds. If you notice as I'm doing it, the cinnamon does stay on top. And with the whisk, you never get it to go down. With this thing, it actually does get blended through. You don't want to overmix it, as um, what happens is when you whip the egg whites, they kind of foam up. You notice it did get a bit foamy. We have a griddle over here. Uh, I'm going to spray this just with a little bit of Pam spray. I'm going to cut my Texas toast in half. It's just easier to handle. When you work with this, you don't want to push really hard on it. If you take your fingers and you push it together, when you put it on here, it's not going to cook even. Um, this is pretty hot at this point. I had it plugged in for a few minutes. Uh, it's on 350 degrees. I'm going to put this in for uh, about 10 seconds, 8 seconds. Actually, I'm going to flip it over now so both sides get. Wash my hands because I just touched eggs. This will cook for about a minute on each side, approximately. After about a half a minute or so, a minute, I check it. Uh, that's relatively brown, so I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to let it go for another few seconds so it gets a little bit browner. What I very often do is I'll take a piece of paper towel and just wipe my griddle off while that's cooking. Just be careful because the griddle is hot. You notice when I pick this up, I'm not going this way because once again, I don't want to, I'm trying to go like this. Okay. The reason why I'm doing this, when I flip over, I'm going to flip this over again. I find that it cooks a little bit better if there's nothing there. Um, like this is going nicely. I'm going to bring our plate to the gross. That's nice and brown now. Just this little guy, he's the problem, but that's all right. Another couple extra seconds for him. So we have one and number four. We'll turn off our griddle. Put a little bit of powdered sugar on here. We have some fresh berries for a garnish. And breakfast is served. If you've enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe and hit, also hit the like button. Thank you so much and have a great day. Enjoy your breakfast.